what's up guys i'm back again with another video uh, another episode of creating level uh, unlocking system in unreal engine 4 and uh, i'm really sorry for this delayed video but um, anyway in today's video what we are going to do is we will be creating much more deeper functionality for our uh, all the buttons and for doing that what we are going to do is we will be making a save game uh, blueprint inside our game and uh, we will be doing some blueprinting within the widget and the and we will be creating uh, two booleans within that save game slot but first thing first what we have to do is uh, to create that save game class what we have to do is we have to right click and we have to search for our blueprint class and in here under all classes we have to search for save game object save game and just create a save game from here by selecting and you can rename this save game object to something like uh, my save game or anything else now just open it up and over here what we have to do is we have to create two variables and these two variables will be boolean so I'll just press two times to make two variables the first one uh, will be for our level 2 and the second one will be for level 3 so just rename it uh, the variable name for the first boolean will be level unlock level 2 unlock question mark or something like that and similarly for our level and uh, the next boolean just control c and control v the name level 3 unlocking or level 3 unlocked question mark and make sure that after compiling the default value is unticked or false like here and in case you have much more levels than me you can just add uh, every boolean or every variable for every extra level the rest of the process just remains the same and under this widget inside our graph or event graph what we have to do is uh, we will be searching for our event construct script event construct node which should be somewhere here event construct and from this event event construct we will be asking our game whether we have a save game slot or not or if we don't have one we will be creating it and if we already have one we will be just simply loading a game from there so for that we have to search for does save game exist and the slot name will be set to slot one uh, in your case it can be anything else but but just try to remember the, your slot name because you will be needing it in for future purposes so you can connect it like this and the return value will be connected to the condition of branch and if it's false uh, we will be creating a save game and for that we will be searching for create save game object and the save game class will be my save game which which we just created and the return value will be connected to save game to slot and again the slot name will be slot 1 From here we have to search for load game from slot load game from slot and this slot name will be again uh, set to slot 1 but before that we have to connect the true value to the load game from slot and the slot name will be set to slot 1 or if you have named your slot names to something else you can insert it like this and from here we have to search for we will be casting to my save game cast to my game and from here we will be casting to my save game which we just created and from this we have to promote this hole as a variable so that we can use it as a reference in uh, in other blueprints for that we can just rename this variable to save game reference because we are using this whole variable for ref reference purpose so uh, we will be uh, next thing we will be doing is we will be making some functionality for that 
delete save the game uh, button which we left undone in the previous video but before that I would like to organize my nodes properly and uh, Needing this uh, this this portion of the video only if you want your player uh, to uh, get access to delete your save games or if you don't want your player to delete the save game you can just skip this part of video this portion of video the rest of the process remains the same so uh, within these three buttons for level one level two and level three what we have to do is we will be checking whether our levels are unlocked and if it's not unlocked we will be uh, restricting the player from playing the levels so for that what we have to do is make much more room so that we can create some blueprints and uh, from our button one we will be searching for is valid and the uh, we will be creating a branch and we will be connecting it like this and like this and the input object will be connected to the save game reference so you can drag it like here get a save game reference and you can place it like this and uh, the for the condition for the branch what we have to do is we will drag uh, we'll be dragging our variable which is uh, unlock get level 2 unlocked from our save game reference and we'll be connecting the condition to here okay wait a second i just did something wrong the blueprint i'm creating right here is not for level one it's for the level two button which i accidentally placed over here Control c Control v we have to place it here connect it like this connect it like this and uh, connect it here and you can delete these nodes because by default I just forgot that by default our level 1 will be unlocked and can be played whereas our level 2 will be locked by default uh, I accidentally uh, just swapped the blueprints uh, between level 1 and level 2 uh, really sorry for that but for uh, the next level or the next button which is for level 3 what we have to do is uh, drag our reference over here and just control C and control V it like this and just delete this variable and from our save game reference we can connect the input object like this and within and we can create another unlock level 3 place it over here connect it like this connect it like this and uh, we are basically done So from our, from here we have to uh, drag it like this and search for remove from parent and uh, connect all of these open level nodes to this remove from parent 
be the same like this and the target will be connected to self and from here we will be setting focus to viewport set focus to viewport and uh, in case if the condition is false and the level do we will be firing a print string uh, and connect it like here and which what this string string is going to say is that uh, something like complete the previous levels to unlock this one or something like that so i will be typing it here you can even use some your of your widget animations or if you want a specific text or animation to be shown whenever your level 2 and level 3 are locked you can add that as well but for me i will be using this print string for the sake of this tutorial so you can do a similar sort of stuff for your uh, delete save game but before that let me check whether everything is fine or not where it is so from here we can also fire a print string and what this print string will say is uh, something like save game deleted and you can set the color to something like red and we are basically done compile and save so if we play if we press the reset button it says save game slot deleted if we press level 1 the level 1 opens and it's fully unlocked whereas if I press level 2 it says complete previous level to play this level and if you press level 3 it again says complete previous level to play this level so yeah this is it for today's video and we are practically done with the blueprinting uh, section for our save game slots so in the next video what we are going to do is we will be setting up a proper mechanism uh, like proper mechanism say like if uh, inside level 1 if we touch or be overlap with a specific actor it will activate a trigger and the level 2 will be ultimately unlocked and similarly will happen in level 2 if we uh, collide with some areas it will ultimately unlock level 3 so yeah i will see you guys next time until then peace